No show for Republican candidate Rebecca Johnson tonight at the Shepherdsville Public Forum. Johnson and Linda Belcher are running against each other for the 49th district seat. Now that's the spot formerly held by Johnson's husband who ended his own life in December. The special election in Bullitt County is now two weeks away. 11 at 11's Heather Fountaine explains why Johnson did give us a statement on why she wasn't there. Heather? Well, I did talk to a representative from the Bullitt County Chamber of Commerce. They're the ones who led this forum. That representative told me they offered Rebecca Johnson a chance to record her answers to the same questions that they would ask Linda Belcher tonight and then show them at the forum, but she declined. She sent us her response, which said in part, right now I'm focused on winning this race. I am spending my time out in the district. In a room filled with people, there's one face missing, one of two candidates. Rebecca Johnson, the uh, opposing candidate, uh, the Republican candidate for 49th uh, District State House of Representatives, had a previous commitment for this evening and she will not be here. With only two weeks before the special election in Bullitt County, Rebecca Johnson was absent at a Shepherdsville public forum, giving a statement to WHAS 11 News, saying in part, it's a very busy time for me, meeting with constituents and working hard to get the vote out on February 20th. I cannot speak for her. All I know is I would have made arrangements to have been here because I feel like if we don't, then we're not being fair to our constituents. Johnson's opponent, Linda Belcher, a Democrat, was there, taking questions from a panel, informing voters where she would focus if elected into the House's 49th district seat. Roads, jobs, and the addiction problem. Those are the big things. Belcher ran for her husband's seat in 2008 after he was killed in a car accident a month before he was to run for re-election. She served as the state representative for six years before Dan Johnson beat her in the 2016 general election by less than 200 votes. Johnson took his own life in December, two days after being accused of sexual abuse in an investigative report by the Kentucky Center for Investigative Reporting. His widow announced shortly after she would run for his seat. I'm very involved so it makes me uh, I guess the word would be is accessible to people who want to talk with me ask me questions share their concerns. Johnson sent a statement saying in part, I'm feeling really positive and excited to serve the 49th in the remaining time of my husband's term. Two widows of the men who once served in the district trying to make their own impact on this Bullock County community. And again, that special election will be held on February 20th. The winner will fill the remaining 10 months of Dan Johnson's two-year term. I'm Heather Fountaine, 11 at 11.